Popcorn happiness. happiness. Thank you for helping me polish all of the sports trophies, Lucy. I'm happy to do anything I can for an extremely masculine brother who is not at all peachy. My very concise and not sanctimonious at all response to that is yes. I think you're Two defining characteristics are brevity and masculinity. I think yours are generosity and benevolence. Are you saying I'm not pretty? Because I certainly don't see myself that way. No, you're beautiful. If I was in seven and you weren't my sister, I would be trying to get to second base. Aw, that's sweet. Ah, well, your short sports analogies enlighten me. <laughs> did, did you hear a doorbell? I'll get the door. I'll make sure th there is plenty of chocolate milk in case we have guests. Hello, Linkus. You remember my younger sister, Shally, who I think was in one episode. Of course I remember Shally. Hi, Shally. I love that dress. Not that I know much about dresses. Well, because you're so masculine. Exactly. <laughs> While I have no emotional attachment to you, um, I appreciate that compliment. In fact, I'm taking it quite Rationally. Well, I reckon I've been in this sketch enough. Hello, Chasby. You're looking dapper. Uh, you change your clothes so frequently. Thank you. Hello, Shally. We're best friends. Of course you are. Chocolate milks? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> to what do we owe this fabulous visit? Well, we came to see if you could help us with our cat, not Stooby. Oh, good name. Who is silent. And makes references to World War One, And never dances on pianos. Or befriends birds. Or whose popularity eclipses ours and sells a whole lot more merchandise. Well, I'm no psychiatrist, but I'll do what I can. Um, she seems listless. Should I give her a list? He means that Stooby means all, like, tired all the time. Hmm, that's a stumper. Uh, maybe we should ask our parents. Um, who speak intelligibly? Uh, as, or our teachers. Who also speak intelligibly? That's right. They, they feature pro prominently in our daily lives. I think that's a great... Hey, what are you looking at, Lacey? The shape of your head. It's, it's not cube-like at all. Asking our parents is a great idea, too, but I may have some, uh, well, can I have some chocolate milk to go if that's not too much trouble? Uh, well, I live to serve. <laughs> what about you, Chasby? Would you like yours to go, too? I already finished mine. Oh, Chasby, you normal-shaped head. That makes me so happy. Before we go, we should dance to some jazz. Silly Shally. You know all music is satanic. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, may I have your attention please, because coming to you live from the beautiful on-air media studios in Dallas, Texas, this is Far Out Fiesta. <laughs> I am your host and humble narrator, Richard Houghton. Please give it up for amazing cast, Kristen Keith, Thank you. Yeah. Rob Hutchbeth, ah, and Juliana Briscoe. Yeah. For any, before we go any further, I've got a question for you that you may, you must answer. In fact, those are the rules. Uh, the question is, do you have a favorite comic strip character? Like from the newspaper comics? Oh. Did you uh, have, yeah, go, go ahead. Snoopy. That's a good one. Rob? Oh, gosh. Um, who was that guy in, in Tumbleweeds? Do you remember Tumbleweeds? Vaguely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that guy. Okay, yeah, that works. I love the far side the best. They were yeah. great. True. Definitely. That was but awesome. It, um, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm That's sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. you can sorry. go again. I meant to say, <laughs> how can I forget this? I have like every single thing that they, Bill Watterson did. Yeah. Calvin. Yeah. 
Got to yeah. be Kelp. That's where oh, I was going. Juliana? Yeah. Dilbert. Dilbert is pretty great, too, for sure. <laughs> and, uh, Dilbert. I was going to do, uh, I was going to say Calvin and Hobbes, so. You can. Calvin and Hobbes. Can. Calvin and All right. Hobbes. Far out. Let's fiesta. Far out. Prison <laughs> Saloon. Oh, outreach. outreach. This is so exciting, Viv. Well, because it's a chance to get back to our captors. <laughs> oh, Viv. I don't think of them as captors. Well, yeah. What do you think of Maz? Dull as fluck, blow hard. Hit that moony nail on the head, huh? Yeah, and a one-eyed, side-lisping monkey man. They should be here in a minute. Are you sure we have everything for their craft project? If we don't, we'll improvise. Improvise, huh? Sounds like a good premise for a future sketch. Oh, they're here. Hello, Miss Lucy. Hello, Miss Bev. Ahoy, ladies. It's, it's so hard to be nice to a non-pirate who says ahoy. I know, Lazy. Take some deep breaths. <laughs> well, I, I tried it. Pete smells like 140 pounds of lima beans. It's so kind of you to let us be your <laughs> guinea pigs. Oh, that's what he smells like. For your prison craft program. PCP. Not right now. Or ever. Because illicit narcotics are no longer a part of my life. Please have a seat, gentlemen. What's this? Don't touch! I wasn't touching anything, Miss Lucy. Well, then why is your hand in your zipper? That's where I keep my sunflower seeds. Oh, all right. Okay, let's get started. Now, you each have... Two 14-inch leather straps, some beads, and these clear tiny envelopes. And magazines and scissors. Uh, scissors are contraband. I guess Mooney's going to have to have to tear out his photos. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'll overlook it. Keister those later, Viv. On it! Now, what you're going to do is cut out pictures of things that make you happy from these magazines. Um. Miss Lucy, do you think I can find a picture of someone not crying themselves to sleep because of their overwhelming eye socket pain? Then you will take these pictures and insert them into these clear plastic uh, envelopes. Uh, what, um, like, like this? Well, very good, Warden Moody. What is uh, that a picture of? Um, genocide. <laughs> then you will poke a hole in it. I love poking holes. Then you'll insert the leather strap <laughs> through it. Got it. <laughs> Turn around, Warden Mooney, and I'll tie yours on. I'll do yours, Pete. Um, this seems a little, little tight. Yeah, I'm about to pop out my remaining good paper. <laughs> what? I thought this was an alternate universe. We're comics here, too. Well, they look so angelic when they're choked out. Oh, they really do. <laughs> Captain Goodfellow, Goodfellow Homestead. Homestead. Thank you for including me, Captain Goodfellow. Inclusion is the is the duct tape that binds to it, God! <laughs> Inclusion is the duct tape that binds polite society. Well, I include Henrietta in things because it makes you feel special. And I always take that the best way possible. Hello, Nelson. <laughs> Hello, Lupe Lou. Hello, Captain G. I brought my mama set's tool belt. And I'm wearing a Adorable overalls. Are those mine? Yes. I found them in the trunk in your attic. Mm, that's where I got my mama's set tool belt, too. I have an attic? Before we start building this home space for people house... How did you two get in my attic? I'd like you all to understand what a worthy cause it is. Well, it's kind of you, uh, to assume that we're complete idiots. Mm, we understand how worthy building a home for people in need is. is. <laughs> well, uh, how did you two get in my house? I'd like to delegate some tasks to get this whole building party started. I love having tasks delegated to me, especially by people who never seem to do anything. <laughs> Did you cut the wires to my security cameras? I'm delegating the supervisory role to me. Of course. Did you drug my guard dog? Nelson, you're a marmoset. Correct. And since marmosets are great at working with cement... Mm, it's in our blood. Doesn't 
that make you fat? Nelson, I'd like you to lay the foundation. Righto. How long will that take? Did you two take anything else? Seven to 14 minutes. Splendid. Loopy Lou, while Nelson lays the foundation, well, how good are you with power tools? I'm a regular Annie Oakley. Uh, meaning? I was long dead before most of them were invented. Great! I'll need you to use this dangerous saw to cut these two by fours into one by twos. Righto. Henrietta? Henrietta! <laughs> Sorry, I'm deciding whether or not whether or not to press home invasion charges on those two. Henrietta! I'd like you to be my human nail bucket. You mean follow you around with nails sticking out of my mouth? Or you can lightly tap them into your arm bones. I'll do both. <laughs> what are you going to do, Kevin? <laughs> Good fellow. Eyebrow threading at 11. That's in two hours. Well, I like to meditate for two hours before I thread. Mm, the foundation is ready. Loopy Lou, if you'll hand me some one by twos, I'll jerk nails out of Henrietta's arm and stop framing out this house. Sounds like a plan. Won't I need safety goggles? Uh-uh. <laughs> Great. Oh, my eyes. Oh, splinters. Oh. Henrietta, you gave me a key to your house. What? Remember when we got hammered at Cheddar's? Oh, yeah. Well, how about you use that key again around eight tonight? Only if you'll clean up the sex stains that Loopy Lou and I left on your sheets. Oh, make it 830. <laughs> That's my rodeo clown. Petting. All right, you can get out of the large car that is completely paid for. I'll park in convenient parking because I own a pass. Never mind. The helicopter will legally suspend my vehicle. Vertical parking. That's right. <clears throat> well, thank you, Jimbo. Ow! Oh, wow, it really hurts when they drop one of those suspending cars. And the water pump shoots through your midsection. Oh, baby, would you like some aspirin? Jimbo, you know I don't do hard drugs. Well, come on. Maybe this one time. Oh, you're so considerate. And you use your brain to make intelligent decisions. And I, I admire how you have a nutrition plan based on fruits and grains indigenous to the neighborhood garden coop. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Wow! Uh, I, thought I, I thought she was dead. <laughs> I thought she was, too. I think we've done all of our chores. <clears throat> Who's we? My brother and your son, Bud. I thought he was dead! Oh, hell, I thought so, too. Oh, enough with the mom and dad talk. We've done all of our chores. We've done all of our homework. We learned masonry and built a brick gazebo. We've made these cookies that make every bite taste like your exact favorite thing in a cookie. So we can help you get the rodeo petting zoo ready to open. The kids are alive. Yeah, guess so. And we're opening a rodeo <laughs> petting zoo. I think we're both in an alien saucer. <laughs> now? Yeah. What? That's why the kids are back alive. I fucking hope so. Princess, um, is that is that a nickname or your actual name? I don't understand, Mother. Never mind. You, you male. Wait, what's your what's your actual name? Bud. <laughs> okay, live children. Uh, Princess, I need I need you to work with the ocelots on their self esteem. As long as I'm not in their cage. <laughs> yes! Very funny! <laughs> Get in! I'm going to be in an ocelot cage? Yeah, now, now, bud, I need you to floss the gators. But they're not part of the petting zoo. Well, I know. And they have probably never flossed before. And they may be... Resistant to being flossed. Well, you'll have on safety goggles. Mom, and... A am I going to die? Probably not, baby. Once we open the petting zoo, if the ocelots haven't eaten you, then... Right. Uh, yeah, I, um, can't have been 
eaten. Once we open, the ocelots will probably um, you know, eat you. Eat you. Yeah. Dad, am I going to die? Well, that depends on how fast you get in and out of the gator's mouth. Now, now you should be safe until we open. Me too, Daddy? Um, sure. Well, they're all running right at me. Did you know they could run? You'll be fine in 40 minutes. When we open. We're not air conditioning the great outdoors one minute early. No, ma'am. <clears throat> uh -uh, no, sir. Surely this will kill you. And now, 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 don't worry. Well, there's a plan B, too. Oh, do you, do you have any more of that aspirin? Can, can you crush it with your boots so I can snort it? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be in the Red, in the red Claw, Claw Trio. trio. Mayhem. Mayhem. I hear uh, music over there, Lobby. Are you sure that's music? Yes, it's special K-pop. What's that? Korean uh, breakfast music. Then we must destroy it. But first, we must destroy this guy's newsstand. Newspapers! I got actual printed newspapers here! Destroy his newsstand as a symbol of, of the free press. Stick it to the man! That and a terrible business plan for 2018. Who reads from paper? Why, hello, six-foot-tall lobsters! It was until we entered your newsstand. Well, you can't really enter my, uh... Um... Silence! New Orleans, kick over the good housekeepings. But well, there are some great tips in there. Uh, stickling, uh, clothes and just styrofoam works better than mothballs. And I, uh... Is that right? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> and I sell one of those about every month. Kick it over. Ah, oh, no, she kicks it over. Oh, what's, uh, that's going to take me five minutes or less to stand back up. I'll thank you to leave my newsstand. All right, old man, we're going. Renee. Renee? Well, uh, how much is this Esquire? Six dollars. Renee! What? I, I need to know the definitive answer to the tuck or untuck question. Guys, the music is uh, still playing. Let's go. Uh, are you six foot tall lobster musicians? Musicians? Oh, hell no. I uh, hear flocking no. Uh, calm down. You're all turning bright red, uh, even more than usual. We like to destroy music. All music. Calypso. Dead. Country. Dying itself to death. Punk. Two words. Avril Lavigne. What has music ever done to you? What did you ask me? Be cool, Lobby. He didn't know. I'll ask you my question again. I found your last reaction to my question thrilling. What has music ever done for you? Uh, let me tell you what music did to me, Rocco. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I, oh, I'm a better listener when my head isn't about to be snipped off by an enormous lobster claw. And I wanted around Halloween Oreos. My parents were captured, ripped from the ocean floor where they were eating, breeding, and roaming. Uh, is this going to be long? Because my uh, sock spaghetti is almost ready. Uh, sock spaghetti. That's where you start the day with the raw spaghetti and tomatoes. And it shows in the, at the beginning of the day and by the end of the day. You uh, have a delicious spaghetti dinner. Hey, I'm telling this guy the story of my parents. Uh, you know, maybe speed it up and don't pause so much. Um, I think your claw is already severing some of my important cables. My parents were wrenched from their homes, taken in, 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 in the back of the sobs, and dumped into water. And the, the devils that were boiling my parents heard their screams <clears throat> and... And you know what they did? Okay, I, I thought, per, I thought aud audience participation could work here. Okay, okay. The devils that were boiling my parents heard their screams, and you know what they did? Turned up the music. Yeah, what song? Betty Davis eyes. That's a good song. Uh, the, the point is, Kim Carnes killed my parents. So now we kill music. Did. Of course. It was more meaningful in my head. Okay, I get it. I mean, that's a very sad story. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please let me out of your claw. Even though I'm pretty sure most of my internal organs have shut down, my pancreas hung up a gone fishing sign, and I'll be about to lose consciousness. Die! 
Lord, oh, did you notice? <laughs> notice what, New Orleans? The music down the street muffled his scream. Just like your parents. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm not better than they are. <clears throat> oh, well. Is that true? Is that a food truck or is that food truck that has uh, the churros still open? <laughs> churros. Precinct. Precinct. By the book. Ass nose, you look exhausted. Here's a cup of strong black coffee. Regulation stakeout coffee? Damn right. Mostly crushed up caffeine. I was up half the night. So you also slept half the night. Maybe a sixth of the night. I couldn't turn off the old gray matter. That's probably good. If you turn off your brain, you die. Parts of me will thrive when my brain dies. Uh, you were trying to come up with a plan to catch the Fibonacci twins? Most of the night, yeah, I was uh, studying the book. Yeah, the book kicks ass. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's why I always try to go buy it. Fucking love the book. Yeah. Oh, looks like the Fibonacci twins are planning their next heist. Shall we listen in? Yes. Apply the by the book giant ears. Roger that. Bravving Banks just isn't going to do it for me anymore, Vanna. Uh, Robbing Banks is going to be so boring. Like season two of One Tree Hill. We should uh, rob something more interesting. <laughs> like what? Maybe uh, Viscino uh, uh, give shop. Or a casino. We should uh, look great robbing a casino. Yeah. So great, so great. Hey, I Ivanka, do, do you think those guys with the giant ears are, are cops? Or elephant milk? I think our cover is blown. Shall we bust their asses? What does the book say? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, bust their asses. All right. Hold it right there, Hold ladies. what? Hold what? I mean, what's right, right here? We have been following you two for a month. Snapchat or Instagram? We have recorded enough conversations between you two to not only find the best skinny frappuccino in town, but also to put you two in jail. For a long time. Well, it sounds like you're busting our asses. We are yeah. busting your asses. What if we don't want you to bust our asses? Is busted. Uh, how you say? We don't want bust. We don't, we don't want our asses busted. <laughs> yes. Couldn't you just uh, let us go? We could, but then we wouldn't be doing it by the book. If you don't bust our asses, we will do it by the book. And by, by the book, we mean the penthouse forum. That's a pretty good book. I'm down with that, yeah. Mm -hmm. This letter says we need to find a laundry room. I never thought this would happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> the single, single marshal. Respect. respect. I don't know about you, Yona, but I could go for a nice hot bath. My people are a little more guarded. In our bathing <clears throat> rituals. Why is that? Small pox. Bubble bath. Well, I love bubble bath. I wonder. I wonder if it's invented. Yet. <laughs> My people believe that nothing has been invented that hasn't already existed. I shall never understand your ways, Yona. It looks like there's a room available above the saloon. Hey, let's let's look for another place. Why? Well, I thought you people were supposed to say how. <laughs> Well, we need to look for another place because this this is the Old West, and traditional mores may not allow two females to share a room over the saloon. Who said anything about sharing a room? I am so getting laid. Pardon me, ladies. Oh, here it comes. How can I help you, Sheriff? It is I who should be helping you. Hey, pardon me, ma'am. Uh, may I help you with uh, your things uh, once you tie up your horses? Me. Of course, uh, you. I mean, as mayor of Podcast City, it is my job to make sure that the indigenous people also feel comfortable in my town. Uh, not to be too forward, but uh, you two seem taken aback. We are taken aback. My people do not have a word. Yona, I, we'll talk about what your people don't have words for later. <laughs> mayor Finch, Sheriff Abercrombie, 
Uh, you smell great, and you have amazing abs. Uh, big pardon. <clears throat> We're taken aback because of because the way you're treating us. What chocolate covered strawberries? <laughs> yes, uh -huh. thank you. Uh, I won't rest until every woman, regardless of race or creed, is treated with the dignity they deserve. Young lady, may I show you to your room? Yes, but I must warn you. I have not had sex in a very long time. Well, uh, me neither. How fortuitous. We have a word for fortuitous in my culture. We also have a word for night good flux in one night. Just nine? My record's uh, 23. Yona is riding side saddle tomorrow. Uh, and please, uh, single marshal, allow me to help you from your horse and carry your things to your room. I would be honored. Right this way, rather than having you walk up all those stairs, you can ride me like I'm a giant tortoise. Don't mind if I do. Such a such a strong back, you know what they say. Strong back, God in the sack. That's right. I trust this room will be adequate. <laughs> adequate? Oh, it's the most beautiful room I have ever seen in my life. Oh, lovely. May I draw you a hot bath? Of course, I'll blind myself with these blacksmith tools so that I don't in any way compromise your virtue. Oh, that won't be necessary. In fact, why don't you join me? Well, I will. I will join you, but... Here it comes. But only to provide you with a sensual massage and nine hours of perfect sex. I'm also thinking those blacksmith tools could come in handy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I've, I've never heard Yona make that noise before she wasn't shooting an arrow through somebody's necks. <laughs> what are you doing down there, Sheriff? Oh, never, never mind. Keep doing it. Mm. <laughs> Practical, Practical Kung, Kung Fu, Fu, the, the ballet. ballet. Hey, did, did you enjoy giving your civic lecture today, Lewis? I did. Did you enjoy giving your economics college lecture today, bud? I, I, I did. Now, being tenured college professors is so fulfilling. Kung Fu, Lewis. Kung Fu, bud. Now it's time to relax with our actual wives. Not Reba McIntyre. And not Khloe Kardashian at a ballet. I thought we were going to the ballet. What are you two intelligent, six successful college professor men arguing about? Um, in which order your names will be listed on your Nobel Prizes. We were discussing whether we're going to a ballet or the ballet. Yeah, like from a molecular level. I'm a geneticist, not a molecular biologist. And I'm the CEO of a Fortune 6 mm -hmm. company and not a molecular biologist. It's like Bud always says. There's never a molecular biologist around when you really need one. Or when it comes time to pick up the check. <laughs> yeah. In all <laughs> seriousness, molecular biologists are stingy. Remind me again, my dearest, as we're waiting for our tenured professional only Uber. What's this ballet all about? It's a ballet retelling of everyone's favorite Happy Days episode. The two partner, uh, where the two partner where Fonzie jumps a shark on his motorbike. That one is still being workshopped. This is the oh. Richie may have to fight a bully episode. Oh, oh, it's here! It's here! We're going to a ballet with our beautiful, successful wives. Go for Lewis. Come see, bud. On the Uber ride back. Now, which of our mansions shall we stay in tonight? Ours has hugging us. That I one! <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the ballet, honey? Well, I thought the dancer playing Patsy was exceptionally strong. What about you, husband, Lewis? I say that because I can't believe I have such an amazing husband. Frankly, the casting of a male dancer in the role of Joni... Didn't work for me. 
I had some issues with a female dancer who played Ralph Mouth. Hey, we're here! Lower the drawbridge! I love what you did with your moat! We live in Mansion Castles! Kung Fu Lewis! Kung Fu Bud! And this has been Final Fiesta Episode 114 Alternate Universe Fiesta. I'm Richard Houghton. Richard this is Houghton. Kristen Keith. Thank this you. is Rob Hudsmith. And this is Juliana Briscoe. Does anybody have anything they would like to plug this late date in November? <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks. <laughs>